Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about a very interesting concept called interning in Python. So without any delay, let's get started. So let's start by taking some examples. Let's say I have a variable called a which is storing a string object. Let's say it's hello. Okay. And then I define another um, string object. Let's say b equal to hello. And if I try to check if A is B or not, so by using the is operator, I'm trying to check if A and B are referring to the same object in the memory or not. And if I try to check that, I get true. What does this mean? It means that when you define A equal to hello, Python created a new string called hello and stored it in the memory. And when you define B equal to hello, Python actually searched the memory to see if there exists any string with this name hello already or not. And it found that yes, there exists a string with a uh, value called hello. So what happened there was b variable was made to reference that existing string object so that's the reason why a is equal to a is b which means id of a is id of b which means they are being stored at the same memory location okay so i hope that is clear and now i will just increase the length of my string like i make something like hello indian pythonista and here also I make it hello Indian Pythonista. So now if I try to check A is B or not, I get false. What does this mean? It means that while this string was created, um, we found that no existing string was there in the memory. So hello Indian Pythonista was um, a new string object which got created and a variable was referring to it. And when we asked the Python interpreter to create um, a new variable who, which is storing the value hello Indian Pythonista, it created another string object. It did not find for any existing string object which is storing the value hello Indian Pythonista. So why did this happen? In And in order to understand this, we need to understand the trade-off which is happening here. There is a trade-off between the um, time of execution of your code and the memory efficiency that you want to achieve. Because as you keep increasing the length of the string, it takes more time to search for that string uh, for its existence in the memory. So as you increase the length of the string, Python interpreter will decide that it doesn't want to search for that string for its existence in the memory and it will simply create another um, string object in the memory for you. So that is the case happening here. But now let's consider that we want to be memory efficient. We want that um, my b variable still refers to the existing string which is storing the value hello and pythonista. So what we can do in that case? So for doing that, we have the concept of interning, which is achieved by using um, a function called intern from the sys module. So from sys import intern. And now what we do is we use the intern function here. So now what will happen is um, intern function. Let's us just check, uh, take a look at its stocks in turn the given string it will enter the string in a global table of intern strings whose purpose is to speed up the dictionary lookups. So what it will do is that when you say a is equal to intern hello Indian Pythonista, it will search for this particular string in the in a global dictionary of all the strings and their uh, memory locations. And if it doesn't find um, any string with that name, it will enter a new entry into that global dictionary. Okay, so if I do this, um, my global table of strings, intern strings, now contains a value hello and then pythonista. And now, if I just try to um, call intern function again with the same string, what will happen is that um, this particular string will be found as a key of that intern strings dictionary and we will be referring to the same object again. So now, a is b is true because we found that particular object which was storing that value and hence we are able to refer it to that particular object again. So this is how you do interning in Python using the um, intern method of the sys module and it's quite easy to use and can be used to achieve memory efficiency in some special cases. So I hope the concept of intern or interning is clear with this video and if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below. So that's it from this video. Thanks for watching.